Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Stephen. Some of you may know me from Instagram already for SJB running. And for those that don't, I'm going to be documenting my journey from surgery to good for age attempt for the London Marathon 2024. Give you a bit of background about myself. Um, I started running in 2015 and had my first marathon in 2016 in Paris where I achieved a 417 marathon time. Fast forward three years on the same course I got a 257. Then came lockdown obviously there was no races there's a lot worse things going on in the world but running wasn't a priority um, but I still managed to train. I was being coached by Lord at Team Project Run fantastic guy that knows knows running in and out um, so I loved him being my coach he got me in the best shape ever uh, 34 minutes for the 10k uh, 119 for the half marathon as well the only downside to that is he is a Luton fan and I don't normally engage with people like that <laughs> oh, I'm only joking though he's a great guy um, Football aside, he just know, he's the best person that I know in running. Um, any little injury, little niggle, long-term goal, he, he's your man. Um, so check him out if you don't know him already. So after getting all those PBs, I was in great shape. Um, I was out for a few weeks because I caught COVID at the time. Uh, and then when I came back, my shin was really hurting. I thought I could run through it. Obviously, being a runner, um, that kind of backfired. And fast forward a year later, I was having surgery. Um, so I was based in Cyprus. I had the best doctors, hospital there, uh, physios, and a year of trying, uh, of trying to fix my shin. Even walking became a pain. I couldn't walk for more than five or 10 minutes. Um, I really thought I'd never run again. Um, so surgery seemed to be the only option at the time. So once I was safe to return to running for 20 minutes non-stop, I started training for the uh, Paris Marathon in January. Um, I was running three days a week, literally running by feel um, the whole time. Any sort of niggle, I'd stop. So it was all very easy running. About six weeks before the race, I had a couple of interval sessions just to put a bit of speed in there, but that was it. There, there was hardly anything in. Um, so in April, I ran the marathon and I somehow achieved a 3.09 considering I was literally just doing endurance running really easy. Um, it was fantastic to actually be able to come up with such a great time. So my next aim, which is what this whole series, mini series is about, is about trying to qualify for the London Marathon 2024. Um, and to do so, my good for age target time is three hours. So ideally you want a little buffer in that. So maybe like a 2.57. Um, the more people that achieve it, they, they, it gets smaller and smaller. So the bigger uh, buffer you have, the more likely you're gonna qualify that way. If you're not sure uh, about your own good for age time, I've put a little image here, um, which is broken down by time, your age, and your gender as well. So these could be targets. And the benefit of this is that you don't have to rely on your ballot to get into the London Marathon. So why is this my aim? Um, well, I got a good for age time before, and I never actually got to use it. Um, so I really want to um, get back to that and I, I love running the London Marathon but the main reason is I want to try and get back into the shape that I was in before. When I was injured I literally thought I wasn't going to run again because uh, I could barely walk so when I ran the Paris Marathon it was just reignited um, my love for running and crossing the finish line was just a feeling that I've never had before um, even bigger than the first time I ran a marathon so I want to do that again I want to start building up to where I was beforehand. Obviously my surgery, my injury still aches, it still hurts some days after I, I do a lot of mobility, strength training um, to try and make it better, a lot of stretching to, to maintain that so I can still run. If I ignore it for a week or two, I start getting pain, it's like the pain increases a lot. So it's all about managing the injury. Anyone that's had an injury will, will know this process and it's really annoying, um, but it's one of those things, if I wanna run, this is just something that I have to do to support that. I've been working with Saw Strength Training. Um, they, they gave me an assessment to complete at the beginning of this 12 week cycle, uh, and how many reps I can do and how long I can hold certain exercises. And from that, they analyze where my weaknesses are. Obviously, mine were in my shin, uh, my lower legs and my calves. Um, so they give me weekly exercises about how to improve them. Uh, I'll put a little link below if you want to check them out yourself. It really is a great way to support your running. 
So my target marathon is the Bedford Autodrome run by Run Through. Uh, it's an eight lap course, which isn't gonna be too much fun, um, but I've picked it because it's the last week before the London Marathon Good For Age cutoff time, which is on the 30th of September. Um, so that is really my last chance to do it if I'm gonna do it. Um, it also marks almost a year to the day of my surgery. So that's gonna be quite fun. Uh, it'd be amazing if I can achieve this time. So if you want to see how I get on, how I manage my injury, how I fit training in around my family life, make sure you subscribe below and also leave a comment. Let me know what your goals are and if you've come back from injury yourself. Thanks for watching.